Today, we're talking with Connor Beaton, founder of Man Talk, about the book No More Mr. Nice Guy by Dr. Robert Glover and how being a nice guy and having nice guy syndrome is keeping you from having the life you want, the love you want, and the great sex you want. And then we're gonna give you just the tip, how to change it. We're talking with Connor Beaton, founder of Man Talks, which is an organization for men, which basically is a safe place for guys to get together to connect, communicate, and have a community where there are like-minded guys who are supporting each other in becoming their best masculine self. Right. So where does, where does this all come from? Like how does someone go from a nice little boy <laughs> to a nice guy? Yeah, I mean, it, it can be a, a number of different things. Oftentimes, nice guys um, are very close with their moms, and so they, they will have a very uh, interesting connection or, or attachment form to their mother. Uh, and, and because of that, it often ends up um, showing up in their life where they will always try and impress the women in their life, and they're always seeking to like really impress the women, whether they are friends with them, whether they date them, no matter, no matter what it is. Uh, oftentimes, they have had some sort of heartbreak in their past, whether they were cheated on in their first relationship or you know they were broken up with, and, and because of that, it's sent them into this spiral. Right. Um, so it can be a, a number of different things, but oftentimes it's coming from a childhood wound mm -hmm. that is causing them to want to impress other people so that they don't have to get hurt again. Right. And are they aware that they do this, or? Most of the time, no. Right. Most of the time, it's like this, this like uh, smoke screen, you know, and all that they can describe is I know that things aren't right in these areas of my life. I don't know quite how it got there. Right. And I'm not really too sure why I can't stop it, but I know that it's there. I know that it exists. And so they might be cheating in their relationship. They might not be happy in their work, you know, in their job or, or their business. And they're not too sure like how it got there yep. or what to do about it, but they know that it's a problem. Right. That's cause... what they can identify, that it's a problem, but they don't know what else to do about it. Cheating's not nice. Cheating's not nice. Don't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and there's actually, um, Dr. Glover talks about two, two different kinds of nice guys, the I'm so good nice guy and the I'm so bad nice guy. So yeah. how are they different and how do they express themselves differently in relationships? Yeah, so the I'm so good nice guy really has this like outward portrayal of making sure that his life is set up so that everybody around him thinks that he's like this really great guy, right? And so he's often like the upstanding guy who will show up and do anything and everything for everybody in his life mm -hmm. to make sure that he can uphold this sort of like superhero standard, right? Like, like perfectionist? Yeah, just like a perfectionist. Everything needs to be like in the right place. The On the other side of that, the I'm so bad nice guy, is usually the guy who self-identifies as broken, right. as not good enough, as wrong. And so whether he verbalizes it or not, there's often this internal feeling or internal narrative or story mm -hmm. that he is not good enough ever. Sexually, financially, emotionally, mentally, physically. Right. And so that can manifest in him you know, not making the type of money that he knows he can make or not attracting the type of woman that he knows he ultimately wants. Right. And it's all coming from this place of, I'm not good enough, I'm broken, I'm a bad guy. Victim. And, and because of that, he has the victim mentality and he tries to be nice in order to get what he wants. And so that's where like the manipulation part comes in. Right, so it's like with both of these types of guys, internally at least, they essentially believe that they're not good enough and they have to prove their worth. Yeah. But at the same time, when they're busy proving their worth, they expect everybody to look at them as though they are perfect yeah. and give them what they need. Yeah, often like the I'm so good guys have an expectation that other people should just know and see their worth and give them what they want even though they never ask for it. So this right. shows up with like a lot of times dissatisfaction in within sex, within intimate relationships right. where the nice guy will want certain things in the bedroom but he'll never ask for it. He just thinks, I'm such a good boyfriend that you should know that I want these things. Right. But he'll never ask for them. Whereas the I'm so bad nice guy will want those things but think, I don't deserve that. I don't right. deserve her. I don't deserve those that intimacy. I don't deserve that type of sex or that job. 
And, and so he'll always want it, but he'll find ways to like self-sabotage so he doesn't get it. Right, so some of the things you can do is definitely go to mantalks.com. Um, definitely pick up Dr. Glover's book, No More Mr. Nice Guy. You can also subscribe to the Man Talks podcast. Mm -hmm. Uh, go to a Man Talks event in a city near you, a program that I have for guys that is basically how to get a girlfriend. And there'll be details and all the links below the video. <laughs> Wait, you didn't, hopefully you didn't get any of that. I don't have a second nipple or anything. No, I have one nipple. No, I have two. I swear I have two. I swear I have two nipples. <laughs> um, not that there's anything wrong with having one. Gee. I know a guy who's got three nipples. Okay, anyway, all right, let's. <laughs>